Like I said on the phone, things have been pretty quiet around here. It was so great to hear your voice. And I'm sorry I couldn't tell you how much I loved you, but Michael was standing right next to me and giving me grief. You know, I've had a few blues about you. Deep down, he doesn't think I'm good enough. I promise you this, though. I'll do anything I can to make you proud of me. I know how lucky I am to have you for my girlfriend. I love you. tracked Mum down and that was okay. She really made an effort for about two weeks. Well, what happened? Odd habits die hard, I suppose. After a couple of weeks, she was either staying out all night or coming home drunk with her speed freak boyfriend. I tell you, the parties were pretty wild. Are you serious? I was out of control. I just couldn't handle it. Does your mum know you're here? Well, I left her a note. She won't care, though. I thought I'd give it a go with Dad, only he's not here. Yeah, he, he left a couple of months ago. No forwarding address. Probably wouldn't have worked anyway. So what are you going to do? Who knows? Well, for now, I'd say you could use a hot bath and somewhere to sleep. Are you sure it's OK if I crash here? Yeah, of course it is. Oh, thanks. Well, I really don't have anywhere else to go. No worries, I'll, I'll get your towel. You don't know how good it is to be back. <laughs> See ya. Have a good day. Bye. Oh, Jack's off early. Yes, no prizes for guessing why. Where is Chloe? She's upstairs asleep, poor girl. I'm just glad Sal's not here. Oh. We couldn't turn the girl away, but we really will have to do something when Sally comes back. I mean, Jack and Sally was bad enough, but a triangle? Someone is bound to get hurt. Yeah, it's not a good idea to have them all living under the same roof. I get the feeling that uh, Chloe was hoping we'd ask her to stay, though. Why don't you add, she's been on the road for weeks, she's half starved and she's got nowhere else to go, so I can feel really bad about this. I'm not having a shot at you. No, it's not possible. This time, someone else is going to have to shoulder the burden. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting, Mrs Ross. Oh, that's all right. I imagine you needed your sleep. Oh, I reckon. It was so good to sleep in a proper bed. When I got home and found Dad had gone, I mean, all the way back, I kept telling myself, I can't go back with him. I don't want to go back with him. What'll I say to him? What if he tells me to get lost? And then he wasn't there and it was like... I'd gone all that way and he wasn't even there. I just wanted to curl up and die. Thanks for taking me in. Oh, Chloe, it's our pleasure. Listen, sweetheart, you do know it can't be a permanent arrangement, don't you? I guess not. Sal would be dirty about it. Sam? Yeah, I, I guess she'd want a bed back. <sighs> Look. I do have another possibility for you, though. I, I phoned Irene before, and she's more than happy to have you stay there if you like. Yeah? Oh, th that'd be fantastic. I mean, I get on really well with Selena, and Irene's great. I mean, thanks. Um, did she say how long I could stay? I think that's probably up to you. Oh, thank you. This is really great of you, Irene. Oh, for God's sake, love, you need somewhere to stay. I've got an empty room. You wouldn't have to believe in fate to realise someone was trying to tell us something, <laughs> would you? Oh, God help me. Two teenage girls, the joint won't know what hit it. Oh, yes, you're a brave woman, Irene. Nah, we're gonna get on like a house on fire. Four musketeers, eh? Oh, yeah, I know what you're gonna say. I know there really was three, but there really was four of them when you stop and think about it. Never could work that out, actually. <laughs> oh, listen to me prattling on. Let's get you settled in, eh? Uh, where's your gear, Dar? Um, this is it. I, I left most of my stuff at Dad's when I took off, and I think he got rid of the rest. Um, my books, photos, everything. Oh, love, don't you worry about a thing. Selena's got plenty of clothes she doesn't wear anymore. If you, if you don't mind a few hand-me-downs, of course. Yeah, and Shannon has too. We'll have you sorted out in no time. Oh, oh love. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... It's just so good to be back. Oh, love, come on. Look, why don't you go and wash your face, eh? Bathroom's up there. Oh, love, she must have been through yes. hell. Yeah, she hasn't said much about it, but I gather she's had quite a rough time. How'd she take the news about Jack and Sally? God, it must have been just about the last straw for her. 
She doesn't know yet. Oh, good. Well, I suppose we can expect a few more sudden trips to the bathroom, eh, when she finds out. Mate, you're missing a good lunch. Pippa's doing a shepherd's pie. I'm not hungry. Oh, come on, Jack. As long as you've got a pulse, you're hungry. Got a game? Well, you know something silly? Chloe isn't even there. She's moved to the beach house. So there's no reason to hide out here at all. I mean, you've got to admit, it's a pretty silly place to hide, isn't it, Jack? I'm not hiding. Well, well not exactly. Oh, look, I don't know, man. If Chloe would have come back three weeks ago, you know, none of this would have happened. I wouldn't be going out with Sally. She didn't. And she's come back because of you. Yeah, I know. Why do you think I'm hanging here? I don't know, man. You know, she's had a really rough time. It's just unfair. Well, it's a tough choice. No, it's not. I, I couldn't do that to Sally. I couldn't just dump her like that. I mean, I know what people think about me, but I couldn't do that to her. Good. Good, but how do I tell Chloe? No, of course not. I'd be delighted if Chloe came back to school. If she'd finished year 11, she would almost certainly have been up at the top of the class. We can't afford to let someone like you slip through the system. There you go, Dar. Looks like it's all settled then. Oh, that, that's, that's great. Um, excuse me for a sec. Jack, I'm going to be staying. Irene's letting me move into the beach house and Mr Fisher says it's okay for you to come back to school. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's really good. I'm, I'm glad for you. Listen, I'm, I've got to go to the classroom and get some stuff. There is just one thing, though, Chloe. Um, you have missed four months of school. And as you know, Year 11 counts towards your HSC. So maybe you should give some thought to repeating Year 11. What? Oh, yeah. I suppose so, yeah. I can stay around, Alex. I haven't seen you for ages. It's 22 hours and 17 minutes, to be exact. Well, that's ages to me. Yeah, it's a whole lifetime to some species of moths. Oh, great comparison. Thanks a lot. Hey, don't knock moths. They're very romantic creatures. Uh -huh. They stick the same partners their whole lives. Well, 22 hours doesn't give them a lot of time to play around, does it? Yeah, but they don't know that, do they? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Nice meeting you, Chloe. Oh, yeah, you too. See ya. Yeah. <sighs> It can be kind of weird sometimes, but it's sort of cute, don't you think? Yeah. What's up? Oh, I was just wondering when you are going to tell me what's going on between Jack and Sally. And don't tell me there isn't. Jack was really weird to me at school this morning and now he's disappeared altogether. You reckon he was at soccer training when you know he wasn't? And I know it's got something to do with Sal because Sam entered her this morning and you should have seen the look that Pippa gave him. So how about it, Chan? I reckon I've got a right to know, don't you? Hi. Oh, hi. Uh, I need to talk to you. Yeah, um, look, Chloe, I'm, I'm, I'm really no, sorry. No, no, Jake, right. please, move first. This isn't easy, and if I don't say it now, then I'm not going to get it out at all. Sure, go for it. You're going to hate me. I know you're hoping we'll get back together. But it's not the reason I came back. I came back because I had nowhere else to go. I mean, you and me, that was ages ago. I don't want to start up again. You don't? Sorry, Jack. No, no, don't be sorry. That, that, that's OK, really. I mean, I didn't really want to start up either. But me and Sal, we sort of got something going. Well, not sort of. It's, it's kind of serious, actually. That's great. I'm happy for you. Yeah, so am I. Well, listen. How about I shout to milkshake down at the diner, for old time's sake? No, that's OK, you go. I'm just going to stay here, have a look at the old places. All right, I'll see you later then. Hey, I just heard, welcome to the zoo. Hey, are you sure you don't mind? Are you kidding? It'll be great. Oh, God. Um, have you seen Jack? Yeah, everything's cool. I know about him and Sally. <laughs> it was a real relief, actually, because I pretty much decided things wouldn't work out between the two of us. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so there's no hard feelings. Hey, I'm not an idiot. I can tell you're upset. No, really, I'm not. So, what are these for? I just feel so stupid. I really thought everything would be just how I left it. 
Look, if I've learned anything in the last couple of months, it's, it's that nothing stays the same. And I don't think that's such a bad thing. Just hard to accept. I still love him. Yeah. You won't tell him, though, will you? I don't want to make things difficult for him. He did a lot for me. I mean, he helped me get away from Dad. You probably could get him back. He had it really bad for you. No, I'm not going to chase him and make a fool of myself. Besides, I don't want to lose him as a friend. Wow. Wish Curtis was more like you. Breaking up with him has been a major drama. Oh, hi, kid. Hi. Oh, oh, here, let me unpack that for you. Oh, thanks, darling. Um, I also thought I could make dinner tonight. Sort of a thank you for letting me stay. Sweetie, I wouldn't dream of trying to talk you out of it. Oh, this is great. Thanks. Mmm, certainly makes a change from casserole. <laughs> So, darling, do you think you're going to mind doing Year 11 all over again? No, I suppose I'd rather not, but then I don't want to fail my HSC either. Sounds like a very sensible approach, if you ask me. Besides, you can still hang out with us outside of class. Yeah, that's right. Hey, slow down. You're making me look bad. <laughs> She's trying to make a good impression. I think it's sweet. Yeah, just as long as you don't get used to it. God save, oh, Ireland! What's up? Oh, look, I can't find a blasted thing. Everything's been moved. Yeah, I think Chloe did some reorganising. <sighs> What is the matter with that kid? She's obsessed with housework. Well, isn't that every parent's dream? Oh, I'm afraid to touch anything. It's all been polished to within an inch of its life. Well, at least you don't have to worry about that with me. <laughs> Finally. You wash yourself with that? I cleaned the bathroom. What for? It wasn't dirty, was it? Dad used to have a fit if I ever used the bathroom without cleaning it afterwards. Ah, uh, look, love, um, we're not quite that fussy around here, honest. Look, as long as you mop up the water and clean the hair out of the sink's about all we ask. Well, I don't mind, honestly. Besides, I wouldn't want you to think I wasn't pulling my weight, hey? What would you like for lunch? I keep telling you, you don't have to do everything. And I keep telling you, I don't mind. There's a can of soup in the cupboard. Knock yourself out. OK. Uh, can you heat it up in the microwave? Great. Um, yeah, put it on high for about two minutes. like the flippin' bomb squad's been in here. No, they didn't make it. I can tell that. Are you going to tell me what happened? Well, Chloe wanted to heat up some soup and she forgot to take it out of the tin. What? What is the matter with that girl? She cost me a blasted fortune in detergents and disinfectants and what have you. Now I'm going to have to fork out for a new microwave. Oh, it was just an accident, Irene. <sighs> yeah, an expensive one. Where the hell is she, anyway? Last seen heading that way. She was really upset, Irene. I called after her, but she wouldn't come back. I think she thought she'd blown it in more ways than one. Oh, the poor love. It was only an accident. That's what I just said. Listen, love, I'd better go after her. Look, um, if she turns up, keep her here, OK? Thought I might find you here. You know what happened? Yes, love, I know what happened. What do you think I was going to do, chuck you out? Dad probably would have given me a backhander. What? Well, he used to say I was stupid. I guess he was right. Now, love, I don't want to hear anything more like that, all right? You're not in your dad's house anymore. You're in my house. And when you're in my house, there's plenty of room for mistakes. I'm making myself all the time. Come on, love. Let's go home, eh? <laughs> 